Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play some more Endless Legend. I'm Tektos and we are in part 11 of the series. And in the process of scouting this land up top here, maybe it's not as sucky as it looks, but uh, from what I'm seeing now it's not worth even thinking about colonizing that. <clears throat> Look at that, it's just a little part that will give you three resources per hex and up here it's just one dust per hex that's really all you get there uh, but maybe it's bigger than it looks and we can get some more we can get some bonuses in here or some rather some uh, region that we can settle and maybe even this stupid faction quest so we can get a section that will give us 10 science at the moment of the founding of the city if i put that correctly which i think is really a stupid idea for a faction quest because it's yeah I want to rant a little about that because I feel up until that point all the faction quests are um, it's a little unforeseeable what will happen once you um, complete the requirements wow sorry if you could hear that it feels like a tank just drove by my house wow uh, maybe some 1960s uh, transportation device <clears throat> whatever um, so it feels like all the quests they have a little element of surprise if you don't know the storyline so for me that is the case because it's my first playthrough but this one is just there's no surprise it, you just have a, a quest that is entirely dependent on luck like if I don't get a region that I could settle in by the point or by the time I get this quest which I had over here like this um, Metank or Metank city that had 10 signs at the point of its founding um, but I found that too early and now I got this quest and you know what the hell am I gonna do I, I don't have any regions to settle I'm certainly not gonna burn down one of my cities um, I didn't even have many regions that would allow me a uh, 10 science city founding like it's only Metank and only in this top spot and uh, then my starting area if we take a look at the fits on the map they had quite a couple of spots but you know you're not gonna have the the quest until that point and you can only have one city per region so I can't really resettle not gonna raise my capital and uh, move it over here and I feel that it's really a stupid idea because now I'm stuck on that main uh, main storyline and I can't I don't know if it's even important to you know if you get faction relevant bonuses from that that I'm now missing because I can't make that stupid city so that yeah it, it's really annoying and I wish they would change it because uh, it makes a lot more sense like this part of the quest um, it's about um, dedicating research in order to understand uh, my brother's scepter and magic so um, why don't you just make it so that uh, one of the cities has to produce I don't know 500 science or something like that which uh, would allow you to complete the quest it would still be reasonably difficult maybe or you need to complete it in a certain amount of time for example like I don't know our um, main city is producing a lot of science so let's let's look at that like let's say 700 science in five turns or something like that <clears throat> so you need to really dedicate a city to research and that is really what this quest is about right dedicate a city to research and um, find out what that scepter um, contains what which secret it contains but now I'm depending on luck and um, probably what I need to do is conquer one of the neighboring regions raise the city there if that even makes sense um, maybe it's built up enough so I don't want to raise it and then build a new city and then get to advance the quest and maybe just get 20 uh, I don't know 20 gold for it or whatever exotic alloys Ooh, okay so we get special tier 3 weapons for that yeah unlocks tier 3 weapons made of titanium and glass steel on the empire all right so that's nice but i can't i can't do it i can't complete it tier 3 weapons would be um where is it oh the usual tier 3 are made of adamantium and palladium so we could do tier 3 out of um, glass steel and <coughs> excuse me glass steel and what's the other one titanium anyway enough ranting it just pissed me off that I'm stuck at the quest because of random factors like that 
nothing to do with skill, it's just... And you could get even more unlucky, like you have a map layout where it's just there's no city that will provide that. So there you go, now you're fucked. Anyway, let's get moving. Um, next turn we're gonna get the Arcane of Materializing, which will allow us to make pillars that produce dust, which will hopefully solve our dust problem a little bit. And then, from there on we need a couple of passive bonuses, I feel. So for one, Let's take a quick gander again. Definitely need the arcane elf materializing. No. 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 Yeah, there we go. Okay, so definitely gonna need that. Um, I feel we also lack influence quite a bit. But we are so far behind our... Like, all the cities have so much stuff to produce that... Um, I feel if we add more, like getting this glory of empire, yeah, it's just gonna sit there. We, we can't produce it anyway. We got so much other buildings, the canal systems, and the granaries, all that stuff. It needs to complete first. Um, but what we want to have is more units, and in particular this awesome Eniga wing as our blocking unit. Because um, it's just awesome. It's, uh, it has a revive ability, and just in general very good stats, and a lot of life, which is something that our early game, not these guys, where are they? Our early game, the Ardent, the mages, the, the, the melee units, they really lack that. They do decent damage, but it's more like a, like a burst damage melee unit, and there's, in this game ranged is is uh, Trump. Like, you really can't do much against range, especially not if your units are not fast enough, if they're not cavalry. So, um, there's that. Anyway, so we're gonna take the Arcana of materializing, and we definitely wanna get this. Just a question of the order that we do things in. Is there anything we need? Anything we need. The reaping station. Let's take a look. Blood crystal, grass silk, moon leaf, quicksilver, titan bones. Do we have that? Palladian. Um, is it not showing the luxury resources? Or am I blind? Glass steel. Gold. Spice deposit. Oh, there we go. Quicksilver. So it is showing them. We just don't have many. Quicksilver. Moonleaf. Yeah, we really don't have many of those. Hmm. Little wine. <coughs> huh. So it's probably not worth it getting the extractor just yet. One blood crystal, okay. Yeah, I really don't have many of those tier 3 luxury resources, so probably not gonna rush for the reaping station that much, is for sure. Mm. Cargo docks are strong, but um, I uh, looked through all the texts recently, just so I... but I don't, of course I'm not... Rain Man, I can't memorize them all by just looking once, but I feel this guy here is definitely something we need to get, the statistical methods, um, especially once our resource starts to slow down, which at the moment it does. Um, but again, it's a building, we can't afford to build more stuff, yada yada, I've gone over that. So um, we need passive bonuses, and we're probably gonna go for the Diplomat's Men's. Not yet, though. Not yet. What's more important, I feel, is getting a second hero, which this mercenary market will allow us to do. And then I wonder what do we need to get to trade resources, because this guy is going to unlock the mercenary and hero section of the marketplace, but will not allow us to trade resources. So what the hell are we supposed to unlock to trade resources? Is it you? No. Is it that? 
Yeah, Imperial coinage. Okay, so we get this guy. Um, probably get the resources, then get the mercenary market. And we'll take it from there. I don't feel there's any building out of those that we still need. Probably gonna go for those two uh, weapon enhancements. But not yet. Not yet. Um, first we need more production desperately, but there's just no tech in tier 3 that will improve our production. So, Anyway, I've babbled on enough. So now we got the tech set up. We got our cities kind of set up. And we got our army standing around here. Uh, so maybe let's take a turn so the army can actually move. Come on, compute the turn. Oh gosh, our dust just went down. Which means we need to reactivate some boosters if we can. And of course we can. Gold dust has ended. What can we activate? We can activate nothing, because everything costs 30... Yeah, costing 30. So we really can't activate the gold. Oh, five more turns. Because we're making two gold per turn. So five more turns. But we got the pillar of what... What is it called again? Of extraction. So um, I already... Come on, go into the city. There we go. I um, already figured out a spot where to place this sucker. It's going to be here. Because we can make use of... See that? It's gonna affect... Um, it's gonna affect two, four, six, seven tiles. And we can make use of seven of those tiles. So there we go. I think that's the perfect spot for a pillar. We um, unfortunately don't have another spot as perfect as this. Which makes the pillar of extraction. We only get plus two on city tile. So for 40 dust, getting um, six times two, 12. So it's 120 dust we get from this guy here over the 10 turns that he lasts. So that is good. But um, we needed another one with uh, this much range, and we don't. Unfortunately, we don't. You don't get that. You can't place him on districts. So really we need a spot where we have at least six tiles to make it worthwhile. Or at least five tiles, I mean. Five times two is ten, times ten turns is on hundred. So we are already losing five dust by placing this guy. So it's really an illusion. What we um, could do is place a pillar of knowledge. But uh, eh, we got enough science and we need the dust more. So there we go. Um, population of Madinaf has grown. What are you doing, by the way? Borough streets, dust refinery, there, yeah, that's fine. You guys, dust refinery, and you're dedicated to growth. Why? Make the dust refinery faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we pull one guy from here. How much is that gonna... Mm -hmm. It's contributing seven science. Yeah. Yeah, they're just... Let them just be slow. That's okay. Uh, Turo, not I'm gonna look at you because I hate you, or rather hate the orcs that made this city so complicated. Um, I'm gonna get the canal system in here for sure, because they are gonna give plus one production on each tile with production, which means two, four, six, and if the city counts, seven production, just for this building. So, uh, yeah. Seems like it's worth it. Also... Nah, let's finish the, f seed, the feed storage, yeah. <laughs> In a sense, that's also true, but the seed storage first. Uh, Metanak, oh my darling Metanak. Metank? I can't pronounce that city's name, but I love it. Uh, it's such a strong city. Such a strong city. Um, but what do we need here? I wonder, the central market would be nice, because then there can be happy and they can get I think it's plus 15% on food and production output so um, that seems quite nice also the wine extractor because wine is a really good bonus I think it's just let's take a look 
Yeah, 30 happiness. So that's something that's actually nice. Could be worth just buying outright. Yeah, why don't you do that? Um, and after that, the canal system, of course. And then they should be pretty good, in, pretty well set up in terms of production. So that's that. Now we got... What? Huh? No, 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 I didn't... Okay, thanks. I don't remember clicking on them. That's weird. Anyway, who else? Uh, we got you moving around. I have encountered a manufacturing system of mercy. Plus five health regeneration. Yeah, okay, go away. Go away. Can go over here. Hmm. So it's starting to look a little better. And it looks like this area up here is not as bad as I thought. But what is bad is the empire-wide happiness. Just content, we got one happy region, so uh, we need to improve on that a little bit before we can actually think about expanding. Because uh, if we get more, like, let's take a look in here. No, 55%. We got minus 30 from expansion disapproval, and that is already considering the minus 25 expansion disapproval order plus 25 depending on how you want to view it but the um, expansion disapproval reduction tech that we got we already finished that right let's take a quick look uh, where is it yeah here we go minus 25 percent uh, so <laughs> I'm not really sure if we are ready to colonize maybe once we get the wine bonus we are actually able to do that <clears throat> Here we go, wine extractor. So in 30 turns, <laughs> oh man, that's quite a lot. How much does it produce? Yeah, plus one from city. Do they have an additional wine field? Of course not. Why would you have that? Because it's useful. So, hmm. They don't have more wine for us. You go back to the cities. Stupid. Let's go back here. Yeah, there you go. And go in the garrison. Didn't I garrison them? Maybe that's the problem. Because I don't see, like, I I can't misclick here. I can't click on the unit. I have to explicitly click here and say new army. So I wonder how I managed to move them out of the city, but it's no big deal anyway. There's nobody attacking us. So let's move around here. Oh, we got a new empire. And two unspoiled ruins. Maybe let's go here first. Um, mm -hmm. What else? I wonder. It feels like I'm missing something. But it's just things are a little slow. Because uh, we expanded mostly and now it's just a matter of building out the tech that we discovered. Eee, what's that? Oh, I thought my hero leveled. Yeah, who cares about one unit? I thought my hero could level and he get even more science bonus. So what's in here? Search. 80 dust. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Okay, what's the region? Hmm. That's actually not too bad. Of course there's no spot that gives you 10 science to start, because why would there be? Why would there be? But uh, it's not too bad. So let's search this unspoiled ruin first. And then we can build up our military a bit. Like I'm talking about for I don't know how many episodes now. But I just don't get around to it. It's really hard to uh, focus on military production when you have that much tech you need to finish. Um, but again, then it's kind of a good problem to have, right? Oh. One more. Uh, so we're making three now. So in two turns we can reactivate the gold booster, which should put us in the 40 to 50 range. What's that? Um, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't tell us how much we pay for city upkeeps. It does not tell us that. Uh, 20 here. So I'm assuming overall a 15 times 4 times 5, actually. So we should make like 
maybe 60, 60 ish, 50 to 60. So, 50% um, reduction of that would give us around 30 dust, which will put us into a plus 50 per turn, which is, yeah, I feel that's, that's okay. 80 dust. Okay, let's get out of this region, because again, this is a neutral region, which means uh, we are free food for any, whatever, this empire or the uh, rowing clans decide to do, because we can be attacked if we're at Cold War. That has happened to me in my uh, single player campaign, actually. I wanted to uh, explore a little bit and uh, wandering around, being at peace with everybody, because I'm checking out factions for the next playthrough, actually. <laughs> I'm that addicted to the game, yeah. And uh, there we go, they're just one army around here and they're really strong and just killed my killed my units outright. So I had to rebuild all that and as you know, that's not that easy to do. Um, where was I? Can I... Yeah, they're my most modern unit types and I can't really retrofit them. I think I did retrofit them already. Uh, it's like all. Actually, let's be sure. Let's do it like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of paranoid. So I'm just going to station them at Toral. No, you don't. Did I mention that I really want to have a way to... Uh, I can't give my armies uh, exact movement orders. Like, I want to tell them exactly the way they need to go. I want to shift queue movement orders. Why can't you do that? It's not that hard. And there we are, we are at 50, uh, 50 dust per turn, that's quite okay. I'm comfortable with that. Anything we need to get, some um, canal system. Oh yeah, we can improve a little bit. Because they're gonna grow in one turn anyway, no matter how many people we assign to canal. So eight turns sounds more reasonable. And the borough streets will be finished here soon. And I feel... That's going to be finally the point where we will um, start producing armies. Let's take a look. Can we improve them even more? Edit, but I think they are sporting our latest tech. It's like improved damage, yeah, there's nothing more. It could ramp up initiative, but... Hmm. I'm debating using this staff, though. Slow down... The slowdown effect, though, minus 50% battle movement. It's not that... Oh, wait, it's on this staff as well. Okay. So we got this tier 3. Uh, tier 3. Tier 3. <laughs> um, yeah, tier 3 staff. <coughs> which just costs production, and these guys here just cost production and some of our early game resource, which is okay. We got enough of those. So... 31 and 14 damage. What do you do? Wait. 31 attack. You do 15 attack. 18 initiative. And 16 damage. So, uh, in terms of damage, that would be quite nice, but our attack would go down. By quite a bit. Quite a bit. I wonder if that... Yeah, I'd rather have a little less damage and uh, have them in a second row. And then... Because most of the time you can predict... Yeah, I'm sure. You can predict the uh, enemy's movement pattern anyway. What I want to do though is uh, make... Even though I hate him. Uh, make a couple of orcs for uh, city defenders. And I found out you can actually retrofit, edit your neutral faction armies, which is quite nice. Ah, oh, man. They even look gay with that little toy bow of theirs. Oh, I hate orcs so much. Okay, um, maybe I'm gonna get over that one day. So, they, what's really amazing is the fast and the winter immunity. I can move around during winter. And of course the point blank power, so even if they are in close combat, they get a uh, damage bonus. So, uh, let's give you a little... Well, let's first find out what kind of weapon you can have. 
Like, you can have a two-handed bow. What's the shield gonna do? Four and five percent, uh, not that good. Five percent damage. On to what? So we have this and that, maybe. Let's take a look. It's nine attack, 13 initiative, and 12 damage. 10 damage, 21 attack. So we're gonna go like this. So we got 46 damage. 18. Hmm. They got block. Block 1. Plus 2 defense when attacked. Okay. Yeah, it's just 2 damage versus 1 defense. I think they're gonna be okay like that. Let's look at their armor. 14 flat defense and 36 health. Well, that's a no-brainer. More initiative is good. And it's just a little less um, defense. But, uh, yeah. 4 initiative, 12 units. What do you give? Um, 4 initiative. So that's the same. But plus 20, 10%. Yeah. Let's do it like that. Get even more attack in there. And initiative 36 seems fine. So we get... Yeah, the life bonus seems better. Because uh, they already don't have that much defense. Actually. If we go like this... And we could give them... Yeah, let's give them improved damage. That seems fine. It's a good city defender. They do decent damage, decent attack. And they're not that expensive. Costing us titanium, which we have uh, plenty of. And just a little glass steel. So there we go. Should do fine. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna build a couple of those up here in Metank. Just cause uh, we don't have any city defense there and we do need some. We do indeed. Um, nothing else to do, I think. We're set up, we're finally making a little dust. We set up our tech, we look good. Um, just considering if it's worth trying to grab this last freely colonizable region. Or if we would overextend by doing that. Not really sure, but maybe we get a little more time, because all the other empires... Most likely they'll have the same problem, like if they grab another region they will overextend, because due to happiness. So we'll see. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, if you like what you saw, you know what to do. Um, I especially like to hear that in the comments, but uh, also of course I will take a like or a subscribe if you so please. And outside of that, just have a wonderful day and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.